Hi, I'm Dan Coffin, certified professional agronomist. Here in one of my favorite spots, the local cornfield, seems like I've spent most of my life here. But it's fascinating if you're a student of soils and crops, especially even here in the spring. As we're looking around, you see behind me a field that has a lot of fodder, a lot of residue. Some people call it trash. I suppose if it was just out here blowing around in the wind, that might be the case. But the reality of it is, residue on the surface represents a huge opportunity. Sometimes it's a huge challenge. The challenges are, the more you have in, in a spring uh, that's holding moisture, insulating the ground and keeping the soil temperature cool, it can be a problem to get uh, good early emergence because of heat reduction. In a, a, a very hot, dry spring, it's a blessing because it's actually holding that temperature down a little bit, but bringing moisture there for that crop to come on through and protecting that soil surface from erosion. So managing residue is a very, very important part of modern day agriculture. Now, as we look pretty closely, we'll see some of the things from last year. Here are some husks. Here's a cob. Obviously the stalks itself, those that are still embedded in the soil, those that are broken off, all laying here uh, as, as some people have called trash. The reality of this is the, the, the material that's laying here is made up of a very, very strong compound called lignin or cellulose. Uh, they're both present in here. And the objective really with managing residue is to be able to get this surface, which typically is waxy and, and uh, resistant to water penetration oftentimes, and get it broken up so there are little holes in it so water and air can get down into that residue. So the little things called microbes or bacteria and fungi and even insects can begin eating on this and chewing it and degrading it and turning it back into uh, smaller and smaller pieces and eventually back into the humus or humic acid that we refer to in the soil. That good part of organic matter that's sitting here cycling, feeding things, uh, holding nutrition, doing a whole host of things that are important in, in production agriculture. So as we start to think about all the things that, uh, that are necessary, whenever you have soil on the surface, you have bacteria and fungi in it. And as long as the bacteria and fungi can get on to the stalks, and so sometimes this is why we, we till, we till to get dirt onto the soil so that we actually inoculate it with microbes. Sometimes we actually do that just to bury the residue and get it out of the way. Now what was unique this year was those who buried it in a wrong fashion too early because this material had not had much uh, opportunity to break down through the winter. Once th things like stalks with this lovely little pithy material inside get inside this soil, they act as a giant sponge. And if the outside is not broken down properly, that water sets in the sponge inside and that soil stays wet and sloppy way too long. And people this year were very, very slow to get back into the field if they made the mistake of incorporating that material in too good of condition last fall and they were waiting for a very long time to plant this spring. So it slowed them down dramatically. You can manage that with things like new microbials that are out here in the business that actually contain those microbes that begin that breakdown process early in the fall, as early as you choose to do it. The two options are, again, go ahead and till the soil and get uh, material up onto the stalk, or spray it with a microbial compound that contains bacteria and fungus that actually break through that surface, get rid of the waxy layer, eat little tiny holes in it, and allow it to be opened up so that as the material is exposed to more air and more microbes, it breaks down quicker. So why should I use BD-1 in the first place? Well, first and foremost, to change organic matter over to stored energy and nutrition for your soil and crop. People forget that energy is being created. It's not being lost or destroyed. It's being transformed in this residue back into energy for your soil and your crop. Number two, proper degradation of stubble with beneficial microbes, not diseased microbes. Disease microbes also contain those cellulose and lignin-degrading compounds, 
you're used to things like root rot, stalk rot, you hear that current term all the time and most people fear it. But when you use microbes that are in BD1, these are beneficial microbes that contain those same types of organisms or those same types of enzymes. Number three, there are 25 strains of beneficial in BD1 that specialize in proper and complete degradation of that crop stubble, especially those lignin and cellulose enzymes we're talking about. The degrading microbes are rarely found in other soil biostimulants. So in this product alone, you have 25 working for you. Number four, you can save a lot on tires on equipment. My goodness, if you haven't checked the price of rubber recently for your equipment, you're behind the scenes. On a brand new four wheel drive tractor, you can spend as much as $40,000 on just tires. So taking off the sharp edge that's on that residue and making a softer edge so when tires run over it, it's not tearing away at those tires like it used to. So what are the benefits? Well, obviously, number one, economics. All these things we've been talking about relate to economics. If it's not economically feasible, why would you do any of this? Well, increased nutrients and humus formation to hold water, to recoup the nutrients that are in that material before it blows away and gets away from your farm is, is number one. Make that residue work for you. It's there, it's been created through a lot of time and effort and work on a plant and the sun's, sun's uh, hour, if you will, and on your farm. When you actually break those down into other nutrients and humus, you're getting chelated micronutrient nutrition, where it's actually tying up in organic material, but being made available to the soil through an organic process. They are not ions like you would find in fertilizers, so they don't leach away. So you're storing those nutrients long term for health. And obviously the energy increase and conversion that you get from this material into a raw and available energy source for this soil and crop is extremely important. Bottom line is profits. An eight to ten dollar investment in a product like this can easily make you a hundred dollars or into the hundreds of dollars when you start thinking about all of the benefits and features that come along with a product like this. So if you have further questions on understanding BD1, please get a hold of us or your local representative and we will do our best to help you understand how these products can work and be beneficial for you. Thank you.